Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I'd like to discuss the Patterson film with you uh, once more. Uh, this would be uh, discussing a process called false color. Uh, false color imaging has been used in astronomy to create contrast in very faint objects for many years, and uh, it's, it's proved to be very uh, valuable in examining the Patterson film. So what I want to show you is what false color imaging can do. Uh, what I'll have first is uh, the very best quality uh, frame 352 that's available. Okay, I got this directly from Mrs. Patterson, and there's nothing better as far as I know. Okay, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deblur it, and then I'm going to pump false color into it. And when, when I pump false color into it, uh, it, it's, it's, it's not to disguise anything or to create anything. It's to create divergence in the tones. The different tones of the hair and the skin react differently to this color being pumped in. So they spread apart. One goes one toward one color, one goes toward another color. And it creates contrast, and you can see much more detail on the subject. So let's take a look. Okay, now here's the raw image, and it's going to change from this image to a deblurred image right now. You can't really tell that much difference, but watch it when I pump the color in. Wow, what a difference that makes. Now let's do a, a sort of a zoom over. You see the difference between the hair and the skin that just, just spread apart so nicely, and you can tell much more about what you're looking at. I thank you for your time.